Today in this video, we're going to talk about the Rescue Committee's reorganization of the rigging bags across the battalion. The old bags had a number of issues. They were heavy, they were disorganized, they were falling apart due to their age, and they were having trouble holding all the new equipment that we'd implemented into our rescue uh, discipline. Uh, the Rescue Committee's goal was to standardize across the department, reduce the number of total bags on the rescue, and reduce the weight of a basic rigging bag. This blue bag will be called the primary bag. It'll be carried on all engines and rescues. It's designed to handle 90% of all tech rescue calls. The inventory has been modified for efficiency and is low weight, weighing in at 20 pounds, making it easy for green belt access and mile hikes. It can be carried as a backpack or as a suitcase. This bag is designed to build two two-tension Z-rigs with high help and a change of direction or a block and tackle single tension main untension belay. The primary bag inventory will consist of two blue 15-foot pieces of webbing, two red 20-foot pieces of webbing, ten oval carabiners, two single omni blocks, two double omni blocks, two single prusik mining pulleys, one ASAP, two rescue senders, one anchor strap, one rigging plate, and two sets of prusiks. On the inside, we have two single rope guards, one canvas pad, and one Teflon rope pro. The red bag is called the Advanced Rigging Bag. It will be carried only on rescues. The Advanced Rigging Bag combines any extra rigging gear with the tower gear and is designed for lower frequency and more technical situations. This bag weighs in right around 50 pounds. The Advanced Rigging Bag's inventory consists of one Aztec, two Y lanyard lobster claws, one not passing pulley, two orange or yellow 30 foot pieces of webbing, one anchor strap, six oval carabiners, three extra large carabiners, two prusik minded double pulleys, two cable anchor straps, one large canvas pad, one large Teflon pad, one tri-link, one RF monitor, two Petzl Grillons, one six bar rack, and two tough tug cable grabs. Every unit has a standard inventory of three rope bags and four ASAPs. In addition to the ASAP in the primary bag, every rope bag now has been paired with an ASAP. This creates a rope access bag for easy facilitation of an ascending descending system when combined with a personal rope. With a recent change in rope diameter from 12 and a half to 11 millimeters, carrying an XL carabiner in the primary bag is no longer necessary. As you can see, running a muncher through an oval carabiner is a smooth and acceptable operation. However, XL carabiners are still going to be carried in the advanced rigging bag for more technical operations such as passing a knot and team-based pickoffs. Petzl Y lanyards, commonly called lobster claws, are regularly used as fall arrest in a number of different rope access situations, not just on towers. They can be used at industrial high angle rescues for situations such as accessing elevated rigging locations or fall protection on an edge. The Petzl Grion has many rigging applications such as being built to function as a releasable anchor. Radio frequency monitors could be needed at numerous high angle rescue locations. As you can see in the picture, it is becoming more common for RF antennas to be placed on high rises, bridges, water towers, and more. 